Mr. Speaker. Uh, Barbara Courage, I would have called the member earlier if she had called loudly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Look, um, you know, it's a week of highs and lows. And to get up in the morning for the last few dairy auctions and find that the price is gradually starting to change, 50 cents announcement and forecast from Fonterra recently um, was absolutely brilliant for our farmers. And today, to wake up again, I'm actually starting to look forward to the wake up every fortnight um, on a Wednesday morning and see things are gradually starting to change. It goes with a word of caution, although, because um, there is quite an amount of debt that's accrued over the last two or three years, so there's still caution in place because there's a lot of debt to be paid back. But what's disappointed me over the last two or three years is that everything in the economy has been going particularly well for many of our primary industries. Uh, unfortunately, the cream on the top, which has been dairy, has been missing. And I look forward to that cream on the top coming back again um, and our dairy farmers starting to be uh, smiling. And I acknowledge the people from the Rural Support Trust who have been out there helping over that time to keep people, um, to keep people um, afloat in terms of not only financially but um, the care and, and attention needed when people are under pressure. <coughs> so that is a high. The low has been that I was looking forward to Friday of this week because, because, because the iwi, because the iwi of Taranaki and Te Atiawa and Naruahini were really looking forward to coming here. We have got 3.6% growth in this country, and we have got iwi here that are looking forward to partaking in this growth. They actually have a vision, they have a future, and I know that they were looking forward to coming down here on Friday. I'm going to be here on order, Friday. Order, order. The member, member will resume her seat. Um, it's not so much the the volume of the barracking, but the nature of it. I will assure the members that I did not have leave and that to cease asking me. Barbara Courager. Thank you. So yes, in answer to your questions, I will be here on Friday, but um, unfortunately I'm not going to be doing what I thought we were going to be on Friday, and I'm deeply disappointed for our local iwi. So on a more positive note, um, I want to talk about um, last week I was at a careers in transition education um, seminar in Taranaki with local school teachers looking at how we transition our young people from school into work. Because if there's one thing that provincial New Zealand really needs, it's more skilled people. No one can ever tell me that there's no jobs out in provincial New Zealand because I go out there every day and I talk to employers and not only do they want farm workers, they want truck drivers, they want plumbers, they want electricians and I can I commend these teachers. I commend these teachers and these people who are actually transitioning process. Right. The three and two in Thank schools. You. We've actually given 14.4 million in budget 2016 for another five and a half thousand apprenticeships by 2020, and that's been allocated because if there's one thing that rural New Zealand needs um, in spades, it's skilled people. Because now we've actually got out there, we're getting the roading infrastructures, we're getting the broadband, we're getting all the technology. People, young people, will come and live in provincial New Zealand if they can pull their cell phones out of their pockets, if they can connect up online. Other people will come and are coming, and we're seeing them come and living in the parts of the world that we represent because they can come and live there and they can now do business because the infrastructure is right there for them. And uh, the other thing is with roading, you know, I've seen uh, the commitment in my electorate. I've just had Minister Bridges out um, opening the first safety road in his 600 million safer roads and roadsides program. State Highway 37, it goes out to Waitomo. It's in integral in tourism, and tourism is another thing that's particularly growing in uh, provincial New Zealand. I see it all the time. You know, we've got 1.2 million grant. 
going into 80 beds in the middle of the Puriora Timber Trail. It's a two day, most people do it over two days, it's 85 kilometres, we've needed that accommodation. We get people to come here, we get people to stay here longer, and I'm really proud to represent Taranaki King Country and have this extra money going into roading, tourism, um, all of the things that we aspire to as a government. So we are the third fastest growing economy in the OECD, and I am very proud to be part of this National Party government. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, what a load of absolute drivel. This